Hi there. Now that you have learned what a computer is and its components, today we will be talking about the advantages and disadvantages of using computers. By the end of this lesson, you will be able to discuss the advantages and disadvantages that users experience when working with computers. The use of computers has wrapped many benefits to society. The one who uses their device is generally referred to as a consumer or commonly known as a user. A user is someone who communicates with a computer or makes use of the knowledge that it provides. Businesses, as well as home users, may make educated choices because they have direct access to information from anywhere in the world. Much like you, students have more opportunities to assist with the learning process. Let us look at the benefits of using computers. The first advantage is speed. When data, instructions, and information flow along with the electronic circuit in a computer, they travel at incredibly fast speeds. Many computers process billions or trillions of operations in a single second. The second advantage is reliability. The electronic components in modern computers are dependable and reliable because they rarely break or fail. The third advantage is consistency. Given the same input and processes, a computer will produce the same results consistently. Computers generate error-free results provided the input is correct and the instructions works. The fourth advantage is storage. Computers store enormous amounts of data and make this available for processing anytime when it is needed. And the last advantage is communications. Most computers today can communicate with other computers and they communicate often wirelessly. Computers allow users to communicate with one another. Now, aside from the advantages I mentioned, are there any other benefits of using a computer that comes to your mind or have you experienced while working with the computer? As many people said, everything has a beneficial and harmful impact on whatever aspect of our lives and even in our society. Computers have disadvantages as well, like violation of privacy. In many instances, where personal and confidential records stored on computers were not protected properly, individuals have found their privacy violated and identities were stolen. Well, I hope no one violates your privacy. Next, the public safety. Adults, teens, and children around the world are using computers to share their photos publicly, their videos, journals, music, and all their personal information primarily in social media, such as your Facebook. Some of these unsuspecting, innocent computer users have fallen victim to crimes committed by dangerous strangers. Computers also have a negative impact on labor force. Although computers have improved productivity and created an entire industry with hundreds of thousands of new jobs, computers have replaced the skills of millions of employees. That is why workers must keep their education up to date, especially nowadays. Computers also cause health risks. Prolonged or improper computer use can lead to health injuries or disorders. Examples of these are the two behavioral health risks, such as computer addiction and technology overload. Individuals suffering from technology overload feel distressed when deprived of computers and mobile devices. You can protect yourself from health risks through proper workplace design, good posture while at the computer, and appropriately spaced work breaks. Lastly, computers have a negative impact on the environment. Computer manufacturing processes and computer waste are depleting natural resources and polluting the environment. We have this green computing which involves reducing the electricity and environmental waste generated when using a computer. Strategies 
that support green computing include recycling, regulating manufacturing processes, extending the life of computers, and immediately donating or properly disposing of replaced computers. Whenever you have electronic waste, dispose it properly or recycle it if possible. So, you now heard the thing you need to know about the advantages and disadvantages of using computer. I hope you have decided to be a responsible user. I'll see you in the next lesson. Music